All right, you know, we all love looking at the moon. It has been around a long time. But it turns out it's been around longer than anyone thought by quite a bit, 40 million years longer. Here to explain why we know this now is Dr. Philip Heck from the Field Museum here in Chicago. Uh, Philip, we appreciate you joining us here this morning. Uh, tell us how we're able to use samples brought back from Apollo 17. Uh, Harrison Jack Schmidt and Gene Cernan back in 1972 brought back some dust. What have we learned just recently about that material that lets us know the age of the moon. Yeah, that's, uh, that was fascinating to find these really old zircon crystals that are embedded in a rock that was, that was brought back by the Apollo 17 astronaut. And it was uh, studied, uh, but only a few years ago, a colleague of mine found a really, really old zircon, but they weren't sure if the age is uh, correct. So they approached us here at the Field Museum and together with colleagues at Northwestern, we, we were able to uh, look at that zircon with a specialized method and uh, confirm that this age is correct. 4.46 billion years ago is when this zircon formed. And that puts a nail in the timeline of the lunar evolution, the lunar chronology. And that is really important because uh, many of the processes that happened on the moon are based on models. And we can now put a nail into that timeline uh, to basically tie that to that age, the oldest age ever found of a lunar zircon, a very, very tough mineral that survives a lot, but it mm -hmm. wouldn't have survived the formation, uh, the giant impact that formed that we think formed the moon. So we used to think it was 4.42 billion years ago, now it's 4.46. And uh, briefly here in about 45 seconds, you know, explain the whole impactor theory on how the moon was formed essentially out of Earth material. Yeah, about 4.5 billion years ago, we think, uh, an object about half the size of Earth collided with Earth, ripped Earth almost apart and ejected material into space and formed a disk around Earth. And from that disk, the moon formed. And initially, it had a molten surface out of magma, and that slowly cooled. And this zircon is one of the first minerals that we think formed after this giant impact. And that's why it's so important, we think. All right, in the quick 30 seconds that we have left, uh, Professor, when you're looking at the moon tonight, it's in a waxing gibbous phase, one of my favorite to look at. Now that you know this you know, extra fact about it, wh what kind of joy does that give you that you've done research on our satellite? Yeah, it gives me goosebumps to look at the moon now, uh, especially after we have uh, made that uh, finding that was unexpected in a way. And when I looked at, look at the moon and when I looked at it yesterday, it was just fascinating. I said, we have a sample from that body. There were people up there <laughs> bringing samples back. Maybe there are even old, there's even older material. We haven't found it yet. And that's all the reason why we need to get back there. Philip Heck from uh, Field Museum, we appreciate the work that you've done. And thank you for joining us here on Good Day Chicago, sir. Thanks Enjoy for that moon me. view.